Hello everyone! This one right here is Knights of the Card Table. I am your dungeon master or a simple humble player of the said game. So, this game I've played a little bit off the recording here and it was actually pretty decent. It actually is pretty decent. Oh, some of the animations in it are kind of weird. Like, for example, you saw how that wall was closing just now. Now, if they were to take that left wall and flip the animation to, you know, for the layer to be one back from the other wall, it would fit perfectly. I think. Unless they've already thought about that and they're like, nah, man, we already had our idea for this, Danny. Shut up, you know, and I'll be good. Spend 108 coins and unlock this dungeon. So, before I get into this third level here, um, I played this game off stream just to kind of get the hang of it, to understand it. And it has a really, really nice art style to it. Uh, I actually really enjoy the vibe the game gives overall. Very homegrown style to it. The, the hand-drawn style, I just love this. Like, I just love this art style. Now, you can see right here, now the whole objective of the game is seemingly to unlock more stuff, play with more stuff. So, for example, if I click this here, I think it'll probably give me another shield or something. Hopefully give me a shield. Unlocks out level 4, okay. And so we have these different characters here, which I'm assuming this must be like level 6. Uh, stick and move plus 3 criticals to dodge. Need 30 of those. 100 for that. 100 for that. Um, version of the game, super exclusive to a certain version of the game. Okay, so I can't unlock those. So I don't have any access to, looks like her. Punch Boxer, Bandader, Sodermancer, I actually love that name. Smack Fighter, Pal Around In. That's really tricky to see. Pal around in. And popcaster. Roguish. So this person's a rogue. Okay. So the game overall is very much like a clicker game. With some light education behind it. Now you need to get the hang of it beforehand. Before even doing too many things. Out of play. Switching weapons. So you can switch the shield and that if you want. Okay. Congratulations, it'll knock you multiple perks. It takes one player, da, 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 okay. Okay, it doesn't look like I can really knight to the card table. Okay, got some cash. Roll the one. How do I. Okay. Six. Muscle milk, baby. Muscle milk, baby. Mm. Beat that evil mailman with a shirkin style. Out of play. There's floors. Okay, so that counts as a floor. Okay. On floor two. But what's this? Sometimes there's multiple floors. Okay. All right, I'm gonna knock this guy down. Three. Also milk. Okay. Get the piggy. Natural one, baby. Oh shit, I'm dead. I pass you. Pay that for your soul. Now what happens if I don't? You are dead. Okay, it actually looks like. Minus one versus the brass knuckles. All right. Uh, attack this one. Stack them. 
And the sword doesn't seem like it really does much other than having an extra count there. Heal streak, extra gold. I have a good feeling about that one. Oh, I have a horrible feeling. Power streak. Rocket launcher puppy going down, okay. Yeah, plus one streak. Gonna go that, get put some currency into the pocket. I smack this spider, this black widow around there, and knock them out and uh shirk her toss and mail carry there. Oh. Pull two. Oh man! Them bosses kick my butt. Yeah, I don't want to spend that currency either. I'm getting pl plenty of uh, bank. Three. That is savage. RNG is. It's unfair. Yeah, that sword overall doesn't seem like it's really much worth it. You might as well just stick with the four and just take your damn chances. Okay, spider. Is that muscle milk? I like how there's different variants of the male characters too. They actually thought about that. Anything higher than the three? Nope. Power streak. Very good. Cover. Anything higher than a two, and even. Anything higher than two, even. Anything higher than a two, a one, a shit. A... Higher than two. Get a bonus. Get a bonus. Get a bonus. Or that built. Okay, get that. Okay, time to chain up these bees. Cause, oh yes, the bees. Okay. That's the bees' knees. Alright, got a two, a four instead. Shit, should I use that for it? We did it! Got a popsicle. A hundred gold. We did it. I'm now spent. Alright. Okay, just one floor here. That. The 14 cards left? Oh, how about that muscle milk? Survived the, the hair of our chin chin chin. Okay, we've got a gauntlet here of 10 more cards. Okay. The concept of this game is just simple but awesome at the same time, but it really just relies on that RNG and how much patience you have not to eat your popsicles. Okay, freezer pops there. That one looks like per uh, blue flavor. That one looks like red flavor. That one looks like yellow flavor. Just making an educated guess there. Anything harder than two? Is it straight two? Okay. Four, oh, crap. Four, all right. Anything higher than the four? Nope. Oh, one damage. Okay, that's perfect. Excellent. Got a shield. A popsicle. A one K. Did it. All right. Can I purchase it? After level... Oh, I can only unlock them in order. That's kind of... 
Yeah, that's kind of silly. I mean, if I have the currency, I should be able just to unlock it, right? Unless I can, and I just simply need to farm up popsicles or something. Maybe that's it. Okay, so I can buy that. Gimme. I'm, I'm proud of a shieldy shield. Yeah, that right there is Knights of the Card Table. I actually really enjoy this game. The nature of it just doesn't take itself seriously. It's straightforward, it's easy to get into, easy to play. And so, again, it's something you just easily pick up, enjoy it, and, you know, have something to work for via the shop here. So we can unlock all this, that type of stuff, all the characters, all the, you know, the defensible surfaces there, all that at your disposal. Now, if you think this is something that might interest you, you can pick it up on Steam affordably at the low, low cost of, well, well, pretty much affordable. It's actually on sale currently for $4.24 though, $4.99 usual price. But again, if it's something you actually think is going to be up your alley, be sure to pick it up. Is it on Switch? I don't know. I do know it's on Steam though. So again, if you like what you see, be sure to support a developer for 5 bucks and under. <laughs>